Hello X Traders, and we are back today with another Thinkorswim video. And the reason why I do all these Thinkorswim videos is because it's such a powerful uh, platform, really. And uh, it's a really good, you know, uh, stockbroker as well. So, you know, might as well get the account, uh, even if you don't put that much money into it. It gives you a, a, a very powerful platform with which to learn. Because along with this platform, there's also a bunch of uh, education that comes along with it over here in the education tab or it's also online somewhere I'm I don't work for you know TD Ameritrade at all I'm just uh, I'm very impressed by their uh, by their um, platform and their software okay so uh, in a previous video which I'm going to link to right here we looked at how to create scans and or filters in thinkorswim um, and we we just went through the basics okay so it's basically you come over here to the scan tab right uh, and in this case we're doing stocks as we did uh, in the previous one and you're basically going to set up a scan which looks for um, you know it scans in all stocks or of course you can narrow it down you can look for uh, just <clears throat> for example just the S&P 500 right uh, or you can look for just the Dow Jones I believe would be somewhere in here right if you just want to look at those stocks uh, but of course that narrows it down quite a bit so we're going to leave it in this case for all stocks uh, if you want to intersect it with something else you know if you want to look at all the stock all the stocks that are only you know have only had uh, analyst upgrades or downgrades or pre and post market movers which is basically what we're going to be making today okay uh, and then you can exclude you know you ex exclude uh, certain things that you don't want maybe you don't want analyst upgrades uh, or you don't want um, somebody that's had you know top 10 net loss on the NASDAQ, right? Or maybe you don't want uh, OTC penny stocks, for example, okay? So uh, you can uh, start, the, your scan actually starts out with these three uh, parameters or, or pre-filters, and then you can add your own filters down here. Again, if you want, you know, the link to that video is uh, back there, uh, but basically you you start by adding filters, okay? And you can add filters for stock option fundamentals or studies or patterns, right? So you can stop, you can add a filter that uh, is related to stock parameters. So what does that mean? Well, basically we have some here. This is the one that we're actually gonna be working with. Uh, we want to look at Mark. Um, okay, so you, we added a filter here and as you can see, um, I'm not gonna go through these because I've already explained it in the previous video, but basically anything that trades between five and 100, right? As a Mark. So in, uh, after, trading hours or pre-market hours anything that's trading between five and a hundred dollars um, we also <clears throat> selected stock with a, a particular volume in this case five thousand uh, because why we do not want stocks that have a very small trading volume N not for this particular scan uh, the point here is uh, forgot to mention the point of this scanner is to look at stuff that is moving post and pre market so that when the actual market you know the the, the cash trading session uh, begins then you are in a better position to identify explosive movers okay so that is why we want to look at stocks that have uh, a lot of trading volume we don't want something that is uh, barely trading uh, because they won't have such explosive moves and we also want something that's at least 500 million in market cap so uh, we're kind of basically putting out some of the penny stocks out there uh, or excluding them uh, we don't want something that has a such a smart small market volume that is easily controlled by the whims of you know whoever is controlling it or has the largest uh, you know stock position for that trade I mean for that ticker okay so we are going to those are the three stock filters that we have we added a study filter and going back to the types of filters that we looked at you can also filter for options if we were looking for options which in this case we're not but we could look for option parameters such as the Greeks you know Delta of so much uh, Vega of so much of so much etc etc um, you know put the call ratios and whatnot <clears throat> you can look at fundamentals you can look at tickers that have uh, you know parameters that you're looking for such as maybe dividends or EPS you know uh, this is probably something that uh, interests you in the particular scan that you want to create and of course studies so let's go ahead and look at the studies and the patterns that we added uh, in our current scan so what we did is we're looking for study that gives us that the after hours percentage change 
has moved greater than 2%. Okay, so basically anything that has moved more than 2% as soon as the market closed, which is very likely due to, you know, earnings beats or, uh, or earnings misses, because it could also go in the negative direction uh, if we had this as uh, less than. Um, so uh, we could filter out those. And in this case, what we're doing is anything that has moved at, um, I mean, uh, equal to or above 2% in after hours trading. Uh, and of course, we're looking for the extended. We have to look into the extended time frame. And in this case, we're looking at the one minute. So any one minute candle that is 2% or greater than the previous. Um, OK, and the last bit that we throw in here is a pattern. OK, you can also put patterns in here and you can pick from all the different patterns, which one you like. In this case, I threw in a flag one, but I actually wanted it. Mm, let me get rid of the flag pattern for now, just to show you what this scan looks like right now. So let me go ahead and scan this, right? It's going to give us the 200 stocks sorted by symbol ascending. Scan, and then boom, there it is, 56 tickers. Okay, there we go. All right, so Arbor Real, uh, Realty Trust, that is the first one. And um, I also added a few things down here that you might have noticed. Or, uh, let me bring your attention to that, which is normally you have the last, the net change, and the change. What does that mean? That the last is that Arbor Realty closed at 1223, right, at the end of the trading day. Its net change for the day was minus uh, 0.08, right? And that is a 0.65% change. This is perfect because this gives you some information of uh, of these 56 stocks that you're looking at. And I've added another one right here. And I wanted to bring your attention to this as well. This is very simple. And in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at some scripts. But this is probably the simplest script ever. OK, this is our vol. This is relative volume. Now, the way you get it to modify these columns, move them around, add new ones, eliminate some of the ones that you're not maybe not using uh, is exactly that. You come over here, sorry, to the gear icon right here. Okay, and you look at customize, all right? And this is where it is. And if you want to look for something and then you know its name, then you just go to Arval, there it is. Okay, that's what we're looking at. And it's actually right here, okay? Now if we, oh, sorry, I think I just removed that. Did not mean to do that. Okay, and then when it adds it, it adds it to the bottom. So I have to drag that back up so that it goes back to where it was. There it is. Okay, Arval, all right? Now, if you click on that, but it has to be right on the little scroll icon here, you click on that, it'll take you to the ThinkScript editor and tells you that this Arval uh, ThinkScript is basically defined by this. Now, what, is this is? what does this mean? Well, it means that Arval is defined as the volume divided by the average volume, right? And you can go ahead and look at what all these parameters mean by going to the inspector or the reference, right? Sorry, there it is. Okay, and then you can go ahead and look at all of these and search for them in here. All right, and then what do you do? Well, in this case, we add a uh, label and we go ahead and assign a color in case that it is greater than one or a different color in case that it is less than 0.5. All right, so let me go ahead and click out of here. Okay, all right, and that is the and of course it shrank because I re-added it. There it is. Okay, so there it is. Now this is telling us that the, volu the volume is 1.42 times. In the case of ACV auctions, it's 1.42 times. So that's way more. That's 42% more than its average volume, right? And in this case, it's telling us that it is 0.73, which is actually less, right, than, it, than its uh, average volume. So it's based on a one... Uh, or 100 percent and anything below is less than 100 anything above is more than 100 and you can sort these by Arval as well you know so you really uh, you know focus on the ones that are uh, basically just you know bursting with volume you know trading volume here uh, and as you can see clearly here we've got uh, you know quite some big movers like such as this one unity software right it's up 11.78 percent all right now we can Go ahead and add that filter back, which was the pattern one that I wanted to show you. And you deselect all, and then you just pick the one you want. In this case, I want the flag. And this is really going to shorten it down. So when you hit that, it, there, boom, only one, Northwest Bank shares, right? So it's it, the RVOL is not that high. 
uh, but it, it's it's still 6.68 percent above. So that's how you use the 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 study. I mean, sorry, the pattern. Now I'm not going to be using this pattern in this particular uh, list. And then when you're done with this, you can basically just go ahead and save as watch list. I'm not going to save it because I already have it um, uh, saved in this case as Arval, right? Which is this list. So how do you use this? Well, this this is basically it. You pick the one. Let's say that we're going to look at which is the one that called our attention unity software right so then you just go over here to the chart and actually next week I'm or next month I'm gonna be um, adding another one another study I have a few of them down here that I've been working on please excuse the mess but uh, basically we can look at this uh, chart of unity software in this case we're looking at the daily uh, the Let's go ahead and look at the 184 and six month one day. There we go. Okay, so you could say that this is a swing right here that if taken out, it could definitely be an important um, level to look at. So let's go ahead and bring in our price level and we're going to mark this right here as Right there all right okay so there is our breakout level now what happens before the next trading day if we see let's go ahead and uh, move into a smaller time frame such as the 20 day one hour okay there it is it's peaking through it peaked through or tried to at least right there and what what we can do is the beginning of the trading day tomorrow okay we can actually go ahead and let me get out of this. Do, do, do. All right. And just kind of focus on this. All right. And there it is. Okay. So we're ready for tomorrow. We have that. We know that this has had a lot of volume lately. Okay. We know that this thing can move. And we are basically just going to be looking at it uh, to see if it breaks up above this line. And that's going to be uh, our entry. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you missed on the previous missed out on the previous video on how to create uh, these scans, then um, I'm going to link the video right here. And uh, and in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at creating some more scripts down here that can help us further um, refine our uh, identification of these uh, stocks that are about to move. One of the things that I wanted to out, add is a breakout script. You know, that this is basically going to set up, okay, well, then this could be our breakout level actually here and uh, instead of this one. And if it breaks out above that level, then it should alert us. And also, we could create or we could cross this with, uh, we talked about um, analyst upgrades and downgrades because th that is a news catalyst that is very likely to uh, result in a breakout. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use my link, which is posted down below in the description of this video, to join the X Trades community by buying your membership plan with my link. And if you do so, I promise I'll give you a video guided tour of everything the, uh, the Discord community, the uh, the web app, the mobile app, and everything else that we do at uh, Xtrades. I'll give you a free video session uh, with me, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.